Well, I might as well go ahead and show you all this one too, right before I upload the film, which I went back to another garden center, but these are three more. Um, these are African Daisy 4D. They, they just really, really caught my eye. 4D Violet Ice. Look at the blooms on this. This is really pretty, but that still does not make up for the things that I am doing. everyone so i hope you all are enjoying your day i just wanted to pop on here really quick to tell you what i have done now if you see me looking over it's because i have a huge distraction it's this guy with a tax sign i don't know he may go up enough or back enough so you can see him but he just has a tax sign like file your taxes here it looks like an arrow he is flipping it honey he is singing he is dancing. I don't want to put him on. <laughs> I don't want to put him on camera, but he, let me tell you, he is doing his thing. But the reason why I wanted to come on because I, I really don't know what is wrong with me. And I wanted to talk to y'all about it. So I had an appointment and I met my husband for lunch. We were in separate cars because he was already in the Savannah area. And so I just said, let me make, let me just make one quick stop. It's 81 degrees today. Let me see what they have new uh, coming out this year as far as plants. Just, you know, just something really quick. Let me tell y'all, why is my back floor full? I'm not sure. And at this point, I really think I have a problem because I have started seeds. I got seeds that I have uh, hardening off. I got all kind of plants, all type of seeds, but yet and still, I continue to pick up more plants because I think they're pretty. That is not a reason to buy plants. It's because you think they're pretty. Now, what I will say in my defense is, 90% of them, I know what, what I'm going to do with them. Like, I'm going to put some in hanging baskets. Uh, some I'm going to put out in the uh, garden for pollinators. But the, the question I tend to ask myself, and I want y'all to comment below, is why do I keep doing this? Like, I seriously do not know. I do not need another plant. And so the only thing that I can really say about this is instant gratification. I think because it's pretty outside, the plants are pretty, everything is blooming. I'm gonna have to get over. Everything is blooming. I think it's because it's just like signs of spring, signs of things waking back up. So what I'm going to do is I have one more stop. You know I can't stop at one place without stopping at the other place. Um, but I have one more stop to make. And when I get home, I want to show y'all what I got. But I do want you to comment below and just, you know, just let me know if you have that same problem. Maybe it's me. Y'all, why they won't let this car over? Seriously? Oh, they have their hazard lights on. Uh, but, you know, I'm just thinking maybe, oh, no, she had her blank. Okay. I need to mind my business. And as a matter of fact, I need to get over again because I'm not sure somebody is about to call a wreck in a few seconds. Um, but yes, yeah, so comment below. Let me know if you have this same problem. I, again, I don't know if it's me. I told my husband I was right behind him. I'm like, I'm coming home too. I'm right behind him. I actually had somewhere else I had to go. And it is like two hours later because I got done with my appointment at 1230 and it's now 2.50. That's, that's not good. But when I get home, I am going to show you all what I have and then what I plan to do with it. So I just thought I would talk to you for a second before I do like what I consider my spring garden haul. But let me go ahead and keep my eyes on this road because I'm not a good driver and I see a lot of other people are not good drivers. So I need to stay focused. Okay, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, 
Okay, so I know you're probably looking at the table and this is even more of an indicator that I did not need any more plants, but some of these will be gifted away. Um, but I wanted to show you before I sh show you what I got today, a couple or five plants or six plants that I got last week at the grocery store. Um, that's about 45 minutes away. Our local grocery store, they don't sell like plants. They do sell like the, the cut flowers, you know, like in the bouquets. But this is the first one. I've already repotted this and I want you to see the new growth. So this is right here, pink lavender. And they came in a little container. This is the container that they came in with the label right here they had pink and purple lavender now we have three purple lavenders already in containers so why not get pink so i got three of those and if you could look back there in the back those are the other two i just didn't bring them up but those were two dollars okay and then look at all the new growth it is putting on and you know this is what i say like a lot of times i go look at the plants and they talk to me and they say you know can you please take us home because they're not going to water and feed us like we know you will because you're very passionate that's what the plants are saying to me plants do talk and that's how those jumped into my cart and then look how it's new growth already so they're going to be very happy and then i also got this uh i think they call it sea thrift i've seen these these were also two dollars the only thing is you don't really know what color you get it was it just said like mix assortment but if you can see like some are pink some are like red and some are white so we'll just let that be a surprise i ended up getting three but one didn't make it not sure why but that's okay we will plant those out in the garden and so these were also two dollars a piece okay so what i did was i skipped out on something in the grocery store that was two dollars and bought that that's how i look at it you know two dollars i drink water when i get home let's get some flowers don't get bottled water just okay let me show you what i got today and make sure y'all stay to the end because i'm gonna keep like one of my favorites i'm gonna show y'all that last because it's so pretty and i do have a space that it is going to go y'all it is like 5 15 and my a little temperature thing that always reads what the outside temperature is is saying it's 88 degrees that's why i put on instagram the other day and if you're not following me on instagram make sure you do i'll put our instagram handle up it's at southern entertaining but for the next three days it is going to be 88 88 and 90 degrees and i can feel it y'all know it's humid 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 here um, I know that I was ready for the spring. Let me have a little spring. Let me get a little bit of 70 degree temperature, 75. Don't just turn it off. Don't turn that dial up all the way to the 90s like that. So hopefully next week, I think is going to dial back down to about 74. Let me, let me go through that for about six to eight weeks. And then we can go ahead and get into the summer okay so the first thing i got we always grow these in the garden every year i just pick a different color um this is the hibiscus this is not the one that we use for herbs but this one this year is yellow this is the yellow hibiscus last year i want to say it was more like an orange color and then the year before that i want to say it was like a peach color so they had some that were out that had the blooms on there and the yellow ones had like a inside of the bloom it was kind of like a pinkish and a white in there so that just drew me to that one and so now uh yes we're growing onions in the garden but you know what why not add some more um these are we have to do short day onions here so these are the sweet they call them yellow granics but they kind of compare them to the vidalia onions that are here in vidalia georgia make sure when you grow onions you know which ones you're supposed to be growing i had to learn that the hard way i used to grow long day onions and wonder why they didn't do so good i did a little bit of research for our area here in georgia we have to i'm not going to say we have to but i have better luck and i get big uh onions when i grow the short day and so i'll try to link a video from our onion harvest last last season 
but uh, we ended up saving some of the seeds and then we used those, put those in the garden, but why not just go ahead and get five more and put them in the garden? I think these are like a hundred days until the next harvest. So we just got, um, it's five, yeah, five onions in one pot. So we got that. And then this is what I wanted to get. I keep hearing a lot of people talk about it. When you rub your hand, it smells just like pineapple. Pineapple sage is very good for the beneficial insects and pollinators. And it, I'm not a red flower girl. Some, I mean, I, I've been trying to do better about throwing red in the garden, but that's not my first choice. So uh, we're going to put these somewhere in the garden close to some of our pepper and tomato plants so that they can bring in those beneficial pollinators and then they can pollinate some of our um, summer vegetables and eggplants. So that's why I like to grow flowers and vegetables together so that the pollinators don't have a long way to go to pollinate, you know, my vegetables. So we got two of those that we're going to put in the garden and this is what I have been looking for high and low and I saw it. And I saw the guy, they were out there stocking as soon as I pulled up. So I went inside, I gave them a few minutes, you know, about 20 minutes to go ahead and put all the new stuff out. So I know this is like new, fresh off the truck, which is like how I like it. I like to get it when it's fresh off the truck, because again, the plants talk to me and they tell me that they're not going to be watered and fed if they continue to sit on that rack. So this is chocolate mint. A couple of years ago, I grew this and um, I don't know what happened to it. I think it died. I think it got cold and I didn't bring it in. I wasn't, I'm not sure. But anyway, I got two of those and it smells so good. I just, with herbs, I just love doing this. Like I come out here every day. Let me turn the camera. I come out here every day to my little sage and mint right here. And I'll just take my hand and just rub and smell herb smells so good to me and y'all know how i like to use a lot of herbs in my teas so i know the chocolate mint a lot of people use in bacon but i'll probably use i'll probably dry a whole bunch of this and use it in my tea so we got two chocolate mints and it smells so good okay here is what you all are going to love or maybe you won't but i love them and i do know where i'm going to put them and i'm going to show you where two of them how we're going to put it all together so let me go get those and then we will wrap everything up okay so if you're new to this channel we hope that you subscribe and join us along our home and gardening journey um, and we're just thankful that you're watching our videos but the reason why I'm also saying this because if you're new many of you who have been following us along on our journey know that pink purple and white flowers are my favorite not necessarily in that order it just depends on the color pink or the contrast in colors so just in case we ever have a contest and I say what are my favorite color flowers put pink put purple put white either one but mostly pink and purple like those are my absolute top go-to favorite if I had to choose out of all the colors that I see in the garden center you will see me going towards pink and purple okay so I don't know if y'all heard the door open but that was my husband and he just kind of you know looked on the patio and shook his head and asked me you know did I like clutter but we're not gonna go into that so I think I left off with telling you all my favorite color flowers are pink and purple so is this not pretty do you see how it's like pink with white stripes and like a yellow yellow inside the flower this is super bells cherry star calibrecoa by proven winners and I will tell y'all I have nothing but rave reviews to say about proven winners we actually ordered their flower pillows every year so those should be here like the first week in April I think I'm going to switch up the location this time um, because the pot that I normally grow them in I do think that they're a little bit too big so we'll switch to a smaller pot but all through the summer the spring and summer they keep going the only thing and it's not proven winter fault is that a lot of times we'll get butt worms but I get that on uh, a lot of my other plants like my petunias 
um, not petunias, my pansies that I have in the garden right now. Like I have budworms and they're not by proven winners. That's just something that we have to deal with here. But these are going in the two hanging baskets and they're going to be super pretty. They're so pretty. And then the other one, let me show you my thought process with this is this is look at this color i had these last year and they grew really well this is the brilliant blooms petunia night sky the only thing is i have to like uh cut them back they start getting a little bit leggy so throughout the growing season you will have to cut these back right here but this is my thought process let me go find it really quick y'all just hold tight hold tight hopefully i won't trip Okay, so we're going to do a container garden instead of the uh, flower pillows that I normally use in the front. What I plan on doing, we'll see how it works, is this is the dwarf, the dwarf lemon cypress. I know y'all like, get it back. You know, we got these last year and they've been in this pot. See, that's why I tell you, um, I'm really, I need to start a garden center myself. If I show y'all this patio, you'd be like, yeah, you need to have a sale. That's what my husband said. But anywho, so we got the lemon cypress and then I'm going to put the night sky petunia at the bottom and let it kind of trail. So y'all picture that. And these get, um, we got a total of four of them. They space, they get about, they spread about two to three feet. So I'm good putting one on the front and one on the back after I plant this and what I plan on doing with this lemon cypress is just keeping it trimmed up um, so that it doesn't get too big and I'm gonna try my best to maintain its shape so we had two of those but is that not pretty this petunia night sky and then this is going in the hanging basket so that is my first of spring shopping haul because I don't even want to tell you my thought process this is not my favorite garden center i just happened to go by there on the way home i was thinking if they have these beautiful flowers i wonder what my really favorite is like an hour away so if i can get most of these planted i probably will plan another trip to the garden center why not it makes me happy so as always, thank you all so much for watching this video and make sure you share this video with your family and your friends. If you are not a subscriber, we would absolutely love to have you as a subscriber. So make sure you tap the bell so that you can receive notification each and every time we upload a new video. Again, thank you all so, so much for watching and until the next video, bye-bye.